first thing I'm doing as always is prepping the eye area with an eyeshadow base. I'm using MAC Painterly Paint Pot because I love the coverage and just how effective it is in general. Then to set the base in place I'm just dusting some of my face powder over the eye area and this will just prevent the eyeshadows from smudging or creasing. The first shadow I'm taking today is called Chickadee from Makeup Geek and I'm applying this into the crease with the use of a fluffy blending brush. The look that I'm going for today is very summery, I have nice bronze and blue shadows to come but that's why I went for this particular shade for my transition colour, it just fits in nicely with the theme. It'll probably look a bit extreme at first but don't worry it does all tie nicely together in the end, well I think anyway. <laughs> I'm going for a rounded shape today so next I picked up some more of that shadow this time on a smaller brush and I'm applying that all the way along the lower lash line. I'm going back in now with my fluffy blending brush and I'm blowing out the shadow on the lower lash line. The smaller the brush the more densely it applies product and I want the blending to be consistent so I'm going around the edges now just to make sure everything's nice and soft. I'm deepening the look slightly now and I've chosen a brown that is red toned because that'll add depth and keep the warmth at the same time. So I'm adding this into the crease as well and I'm blending it up into that transition colour just so that they fade nicely together. What I've done to the top I'm doing to the bottom as well so I'm using a pencil brush just to run that brown down all the way along the lower lash line. The next shadow I'm using is from the Pennies slash Primark Cabana palette. I'm picking up that dark bronze shade, it's the third one in from the right, and I'm going for a kind of spotlight eye today, so I use the width of my iris as a guide, and I apply the eyeshadow on the outer and inner corner of my eye, leaving a space in the centre about the width of my iris, and that's basically how I get my spotlight, or halo, even every time. So just look straight into a mirror, pat down your eyeshadow and then you have it. So once I've got the shadow laid down, I'm connecting the eyeshadow in the crease. And then once again, I'm repeating the process, so I'm applying that dark bronze shade down along the lower lash line. Now that I've connected the bronze eyeshadow in the crease, I need to blend it up into the two shades that I applied previously. Sometimes I like to use a pencil brush to feather the eyeshadow upwards just because it's small and precise but if you find it easier you could just use a smaller blending brush to fade out the colour. Now for the colour in the centre of the lid and this is my favourite part. I'm starting out with a teal base, not necessary but it makes what we apply on top of it pop even more so that's why I'm carrying out this step today. You can use a synthetic brush to apply the base or your finger, whichever you prefer. Then I'm going in with my favourite eyeshadow in the palette, that gorgeous blue, and I'm patting it down right on top of that base. So even though it's a spotlight smoky eye I've gone for today, I don't want there to be a random harsh blob of blue on my lid. You want to make sure that you blend either side of the blue into the brown. So what I do is I take some brown, I overlap it slightly with the blue, take some more blue, overlap it with the brown, and I go back and forth until they fade together. I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette now and I'm using that to add a little more depth. I'm firstly pressing it into the upper lashes and slightly along the lash line itself and this will help to conceal the band of the lashes that I'm about to apply. Then with that same angled brush I'm taking it along the lower lash line too and I'm just pressing the eyeshadow into the roots of the lashes. When I've gone for a rounded smoky eye I always like to go back in with my face powder on a fluffy blending brush and I run this along the edges of the look just to make sure everything fades seamlessly. For the lashes I didn't want anything too dramatic so I went for the Lily lashes from Kiss and popped them on and we're nearly there now. One of the last things that I'm going to do is to apply that teal base along the waterline. I just really like the look of the blue on the waterline with the pop of blue on the centre of the lid and then I set the base with the blue eyeshadow in the palette and it just kind of helps it to last a bit longer on the waterline. Finally then I'm finishing off the look with some mascara, I'm applying it to my top and bottom lashes and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and all that lark 
and I'll chat to you all soon.